So I wanna introduce you to computational modeling through a program called NetLogo. And computational modeling is really just all about using the power of computers to simulate and study complex systems using math, physics, and computer science. So weather forecasting, flight simulators, tracking viral evolution, they're all using computational modeling to predict how a system will behave in the future. And that logo is a free programming environment. It's called a multi-agent programmable modeling environment. And in our case, the agents are these things called turtles. So they're not gonna look like turtles on the screen. That sort of inherited this a concept of a turtle from other programming languages, but that is the agent that you are programming. And uh, each turtle has position, heading, color, and uh, traits and properties that you give to it as a programmer. And then patches are the parts of the environment that the turtle is on. So um, they're arranged in a grid and they also can have um, attributes that you program into them. And then um, the observer mode is sort of looking down at this environment of turtles and patches from a bird's eye perspective. And it's the, where you create turtles from and kind of get your environment started. So let's look at NetLogo. There are two versions. There's a downloadable version, and then there's um, an online version. The online version is new, and I like it definitely for running models. Um, let's see, here's a model that um, is doing something. I don't know what this model is. It just came up randomly, but there's a lot of different models you can look at if you just wanna kind of run some and play around with that. And you can update the code for these models, uh, but it's not the way we're gonna do it. So we are gonna actually be looking at the online, uh, the downloaded version. And so it looks like this. And you see you have a command center down here. That's where we're gonna start. So I'm going to go, the first thing we're gonna look is basic commands. So again, there's observer commands. Those are kind of the top-down commands. CA, clear all. So for instance, this was made by um, a program I created. If I wanted that to disappear, I'd do a CA to clear it all. And then CRT in a number uh, creates a certain number of turtles. So let's start with that. So I'm in observer. I don't have anything here right now, but I'm just gonna do CA. And then I'm gonna CRT and I'll start with one. And there's a tiny little thing, looks like a triangle, not a turtle, but there you go. And then we have our turtle command. So now we actually want to get those objects doing something. So they can move forward and backward, and then a number of steps. You can put the pen down or pen up. So if the pen's down, then it'll trail a mark as it moves. You can move the turtle right or left, RT or LT, and the number of degrees. And then you can use a repeat command so you don't have to keep typing commands in over and over. So we are going to create a square. So I already did the observer commands, these two commands, and now I want to do turtle commands. So I want to put the pen down so I can see the trail it leaves, and then I'm going to go forward 10 and right 90. So I need to change this to turtle commands. If I tried to do a turtle command here, um, pen down for instance, I can't do that. It's a turtle only command. So that's a clue that I need to change this to turtles. And now I can do pen down. And then I'm going to do forward 10, right 90, forward 10. You see where this is going, right? Um, so instead of having to type all these commands, you could use the uh, repeat. The repeat is repeat and the number of times you repeat it, and then all the commands that you want to happen inside these quotes, um, these brackets, sorry. And um, it can be as, you know, as, as much as you want to, but first I wanna see if you can figure out the square. And once you figure that out, then you can do some more advanced stuff like um, putting this in here. So you see that um, created some randomness. Um, then you can go back to Observer, clear your screen and maybe create, I don't know, 25 turtles. And go back to your turtle command and, um, you can always come back and copy commands from up here that you were doing before. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, I forgot to put the pen down so I didn't see what it did. Oh, cool. 
And then I could, you know, mess around with this as well to do some different things. Maybe make that longer, take out these last ones. Just really kind of have some fun with it. Um, okay, so that's where we're gonna stop until the next set of commands.